Hey, this is John here for PowerYourself.com. Wanted to give you an update on the gas fire project and how it's progressing. Um, you can see here I've got the, uh, let's see, I don't know, this is the number, number two outer shell. So this is the second largest air shell. It's probably just, a, just under uh, about 41 inches in diameter. You can see it's quite big. Let's see if I can pan back out here for you a little bit. Let's see, we'll pan it over. So you can see basically I've got two uh, A-frames here and I'm using these um, sawhorses as support and then I've got a piece of steel bar stock across the uh, underneath here that's welded to the C-clamps that are C-clamped to this fixture. Um, and then I'm using these vice grips to hold the sheet metal uh, to the C-clamps. I also have a small piece of aluminum. I'll, I'll draw a diagram or take a better picture for you and put it um, beneath in the show notes. Or Anyway, um, and then you can see also over here, if I pan over to the right, you can see I've got a belly band uh, right across the strap, right across the center to try to keep it as circular as possible so that when I weld, this is as flat or has the right curvature to it. Um, you can see uh, this will be the second uh, shell that I've tried to weld. The first one I attempted yesterday. Uh, let me give you a shot over here what I did yesterday. So this is what I welded up yesterday and I did not use any forms for this at all. So um, it isn't the, uh, the best weld, but I didn't do too bad of a job for not having a, not really having any, uh, any support on the back side. I did try to put it up into a, I, I really, I guess the main problem was I didn't tack weld it enough. So the tack welds are probably two to three inches apart and it actually probably needed to be you know much closer than that to get it to work properly so uh, you can see here it's not too bad but um, functional but not the prettiest and maybe a little bit over uh, you can see the coloration there could have been a little bit more heat than, than I should have had but hopefully it'll work out um, and I'm going to attempt I just made up this new fixture uh, this morning and I added the belly band to see if I can improve the welds and also speed up the time a little bit. It was very, uh, it was very, very, <laughs> took a lot of time. Here, let me zoom in real close on the, on the fixture there. So this is the new fixture here. And uh, let's see, right here, let's see if I can get a little closer for you. Right here, you can see this is a piece of aluminum right there that is just sitting on top of a square, uh, what is that, one inch uh, square extruded uh, steel, and I just clamped it. So the aluminum is the heat sink, and the aluminum won't uh, melt or weld into, won't contaminate the welds here. So um, I am still painting the backside of the welds with the, uh, the flux that I bought from the Tin Man website. Um, I haven't tried, I did buy some tape uh, backside, it's like a has a ceramic cloth, and then the ins and then it tapes over. Supposedly, it protects the backside of the weld from oxidation. But I haven't tested it yet. I'm just going to go ahead and um, work out this process, and I might just do a test of that on something else a little bit later. This seems to be working out quite well. Um, so anyway, that's the update, and I'll take a couple more pictures of the fixturing and that um, in the future, and give more details about how I built it so people can replicate it um, if you try to repeat this uh, build this prototype in the future. Anyway, this is John for PowerYourself.com, signing off for now. Take care.